Hey guys, it's me. So I recently, after you know, hearing a lot of stuff about it, and I realized I'm kind of late on this bandwagon, um, I picked up the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. Um, I was, I've heard about this a bunch of places, but who really got me going in on this one was actually Makeup Geek. It's Marlena. I absolutely love Marlena so much. Um, I mean, I have very dry skin, and I she kept referring to this as something that's absolutely fantastic you know, for dry skin, which I think is great because I feel like a lot of foundations now are geared towards people with oily skin. That's not always the case. I have really dry skin. So figured I'd try it out. Um, this comes in a bunch of different shades. I was actually really, really impressed with the sh uh, variety and range of the shades. And I got the lightest, of course, um, Classic Ivory, number 10. And this contains... Um, SPF 20, which is kind of a letdown for me, because SPF, the titanium dioxide that, you know, acts as your sunscreen, that, you know, makes the SPF factor in it, tends to, you know, in photography, which cause um, glares and just shininess, which is not something I want, because that tends to look oily as opposed to dewy, and I want my skin to look dewy, not like I have an oil slick sitting on my face. But other than that, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, from what I smelled before, it didn't smell like sunscreen, and... Nope. It's, it has a weird, a slightly weird smell, but I'm not sure. So basically, this comes with a pore top. And it's really unfortunate, almost just because of how runny this stuff is. It's very watery, so it's not, um... I don't know. I feel like... It could be better. I really like the idea with pumps. So anyway, I'm going to try this on. I'm doing a bunch of running around today. So I figured I'd get that going. Um, I'm just taking my Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer, like always. Check it up. And I pretty much don't do foundation without it. Um, it's not Again, it's not that I have oily skin and I need a primer. It's that I like how it feels on my face and the texture that it makes my face. It's like my favorite drugstore primer. Really one of my favorite primers in general. I've tried a bunch of high-end ones, and this one is just fantastic. Um, you know, the fact that it's cheap also doesn't, you know, help. I don't have to drive out 20 minutes to go find it, because that's where a lot of the drugstore um, products are. The drugstore products are really close to my home, but the high-end ones, I have to drive at least 20 minutes, which really sucks. So, that's all on and settled. I am going to take some of this. And, I mean, you get one ounce. That's pretty good. Um, I'm going to kind of put that on my... Whoa, that comes out fast. It comes out really fast. You can see it running down my face. Yep, you can see that running down my hand. That is... Oh, my goodness. That is very, very runny. Um, but hopefully it'll stay. All right, so I'm just going to put this on with my e.l.f. powder brush. Tap it, rub it in, see how that works. like it so far. It's definitely not like a full coverage, but uh, it's not quite a medium coverage, but it isn't a light coverage foundation. It's right in between, and I can tell it's very buildable. It has a slight scent to it. I'm not, I can't even describe it. Just a slight, just makeup-y scent. And when you're putting your foundation on, you always start from the center of your face and work your way outwards. I'm just doing that up into my hairline. I don't know. I'm really, really liking this so far. This is really nice. Blend it down. All right, now what's nice about this is that I'm not getting like an oily, you know, not oily, oh my goodness, I'm not getting an orange, can't talk today, I'm not getting an orange um, impression of this. I feel like a lot of lighter foundations 
they say light, but what they're really trying to do is make you look darker. And quite honestly, some people who, you know, have light skin don't want to be darker. I sure don't. And that's nothing against, you know, being dark. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not me. I've, I love being pale. But, uh, I don't know. This doesn't do that. Um, I'm definitely not feeling like my face is getting mattified, which is nice. It's more of just like perfecting my skin. Alright. So I actually really, really do kind of like this foundation. I do have some issues with it, you know, just because of the pore top. That's not an issue, that's just an unfortunate packaging deal. Um, I really wish more companies put, you know, pump tops on their foundations. I think that would really just make everyone more excited. So, yeah, that's on my face. That's all I'm going to do in this video. Um, but no, I like it so far. It doesn't feel like it's drying too quick. I feel it's very blendable. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like I need more. I like this. It's pretty decent coverage. It's pretty dewy, um, but it's not oily. However, I dislike the SPF. I don't know. I tend to like my foundations and my skincare products to be different. However, this is Neutrogena. I feel Neutrogena isn't exactly a makeup company as much as it is a skincare company, but that's fine. Um, again, just my personal preference. That's not getting in the way of me disliking this product, though. Um, now, I picked this up last night. And, no. I picked this up two days ago, and I just haven't had the chance to really try it out. I think I swatched it on the back of my hand before I took a shower once. I don't know, but it's pretty nice. Um, I like it. I'm doing a bunch of running around today. I'm shooting a few more videos, too. So, we'll see how this wears. And I will post this, like, towards the end of this video. Definitely post that. So, until then, I'll see ya. All right, it is 6.19 now, and this has foundation has held up all day. I have had absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. Um, there has been no creasing within, you know, my lip area or around my nose. There has been no feeling of madness. I have looked at the mirror, and it, I haven't felt that my skin has absorbed all the moisture and that there's been, you know, close to pure pigment left on there. My skin is not dry, my skin does not feel tight, and I have not been, um, my skin has been irritated by this, which is really good because my skin has been breaking out a lot more often, and I mean, I know it'll take a while for me to really see, you know, how it affects my skin, but at the same time, I feel like if there was a true issue with it right away, I'd feel something, and this honestly feels like I am wearing absolutely no makeup at all. I did recently purchase a new, um, makeup products, including a makeup setting spray, and I tested the setting spray about 10, 15 minutes ago, and that honestly made it feel cakier, made it feel crazier, which is funny because it's supposed to be a dewy setting spray. It's supposed to make your face be more dewy and look more glowing and moisturized. It's supposed to feel more matte. I haven't seen any difference physically but that does make my face feel tighter. So this lasted actually pretty much the entire day, which I am so excited about. Um, definitely think this is going to become one of my new absolute favorite makeup um, products as opposed to, you know, foundations and as far as they go. So yeah, that's what I'm digging right now. Um, if you have any questions, comments, requests, send me a message, leave a comment down below, thumbs up, and subscribe. That'd be fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a nice day. Toodles.